Now then, I'm going to add some canned mushrooms, which I've already drained. I like to drain my mushrooms. I'm going to add two cans to that. I'm going to add two cans of Rotel tomatoes. I don't drain the tomatoes. These Rotel tomatoes, these are tomatoes and hot peppers mixed together to give the dish a little bit of a spice. I'm going to go ahead and get my, my crock pot cooking because now I have enough stuff in there to where it can start cooking. Now then I'm going to add one can of just regular plain tomatoes. Non-drained, of course. And then I'm going to add a can of this salsa caceresa. I'm going to add some uh, celery. We had these, these celery. I had these celery pieces already cut, chopped up and frozen. So I'm just going to throw those into the pot. I've got two bags of these here that I'm going to add. These, this here is frozen peppers and onions. Then I'm going to add to my pot. And I have some frozen fresh tomatoes that I'm going to add to my pot. Now then, I want to also add some fresh onions, which I've already got ready to chop. Pieces of this onion fell off. Add onions to this. Now I'm going to add some fresh peppers, bell peppers. Now then I'm going to add some water until this is covered in water. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure it out because I'm going to also add a, bull, a chicken bouillon cube for every cup of water I use. This is a four cup container. And looks like four cups just about did it. So I'm gonna add one bouillon cube. To this. Two bouillon cubes to this. It's 
that I have decided to make some soup today because here in Texas, it's snowing. And it's always when it's good cold weather, a good day to make chicken, to make some soup. Now then, I'm going to get my spoon. And I'm going to stir all this in real good. Now I'm going to cover it. And I'm just going to let it set here and simmer on high and for about three hours. And then I'll be coming back to add the next ingredients. I will see you then. This has been simmering now for about three hours. And now it's time to add the next ingredient. Which, by the way, I missed one ingredient earlier to put on the video. So let me tell you that after I cut off the video a minute ago, uh, the last time, three hours ago, I added three cloves of garlic. Now it's time to add the rest of our seasoning, taco seasoning. So we're going to open up here. And we're going to add our taco seasoning. I'm going to put in two packages of taco seasoning. Stir that in real good. Now we're going to let this simmer for about two hours, then we'll add our next ingredient. Now I'm going to add the next ingredient. Take this off. Stir this a little bit. And I'm going to be adding some spinach to it. So let's take this lid off. And I'll have to probably put this in just a little bit at a time, get it to work its way down. Get this stirred up real good.
Now that I'm going to let this spinach cook for about 30 minutes and then I'll be back to add the last ingredient. Now we'll add the last ingredient to the soup. But first, I'm going to stir it just a little bit. Okay, and the last ingredient is going to be sour cream. I'm going to add this to the soup. I'm going to put the spoon in here to let that wash off. Now that I'm going to stir the sour cream up until the sour cream gets melted good. Now then, we're going to let that sour cream simmer for about another 15 minutes, and then the soup will be ready to serve. Okay, the soup's all done and is ready to serve. And the way I like to serve it is, of course, in a bowl. But then I take some corn chips, such as this. And I crush them up into the bottom of the bowl. Then, I add my soup, stir it here just a little bit more before I put it in my bowl. I'm going to turn my crock pot off. And then the final topping is I like to take a little bit of cheese. I like to prefer this Fiesta blend. And I drop a little cheese on top. Then I stir it up and it's ready to eat. The final soup 